So this is my default, this is what I always do. It's a little performance trick if you like the fresh car smell. I wanna switch over to a different project. Notice how, I, how when I open it up here, all the files that were open before are now open again. And in my Solution Explorer, I can see that all my folders and projects have all been expanded to the same levels that they were last time I used this project. And that's all good. That means that I can get right back into where I left off. But very often, this is not what I want. Very often I come in, I open the project in the morning to start working on, on something. And I don't want sort of yesterday's state to be expanded into Visual Studio here. I want something clean. I want something fresh. I want that fresh car smell. None of this open, but I want to be able to open my, my app and work with it. So I'm going to show you a couple of settings that are really, really helpful. So if you go to tools options and then go to projects and solutions. So reopen documents on solution load. I'm going to uncheck that and restore solution explorer project hierarchy state on solution load. I'm going to uncheck that as well. So now let's open this project again that we had before. I'm going to switch again. And first of all, I don't know if you noticed this, but it's instant. The loading of these projects are now instant because no other files have to be opened. No state had to be read from disk and hydrated into memory. On the UI thread in Visual Studio to expand all the tree nodes in Solution Explorer, none of that was necessary. When you open a file, let's say you open a C-sharp file. If it's the first time you open a C-sharp file in that instance of Visual Studio that you've got open, then it has to boot up all of Roslyn and everything to get IntelliSense and colorization and all of that working. And that's called a language service. And a language service can sometimes take a little while to load. It's not necessarily a long time, but it's not instant. 